Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super Ninjas. That's right, this is part of the brand new Super Shredder Wave that is starting to hit store shelves, featuring four new versions of the Turtles, all armored up as Super Ninjas, ready to do battle with the Super Shredder. So let's go ahead and check them out. So as you can see, uh, the packaging for this particular line is slightly different than what we've seen in the past. While the shape and style of the blister card itself is very similar to all the past figures, uh, the colors are a little bit different on there, and we do have a new logo at the top that says Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is an homage to the original Mirage comic books, which I love. I love that new logo. I think that is such a cool nod to some of the roots of the turtles very cool stuff we also have an image of the four turtles in their super ninja gear right there on the top corner of the blister while the bottom portion fully showcases the figures within and the little name cards underneath that are all color coded for each of the turtles now as you rotate the boxes around to the back side, all of them feature the exact same cross cell. And it is a little different than what we've seen on figures in the past because these focus solely on the Super Shredder Wave. The top gives you a description of the new Super Shredder character. And then down below that, we've got all five of the figures in this particular lineup with Super Shredder right there in the center. So let's go ahead and get the four turtles removed from these boxes and take a closer look at them. All right, so we've got our Super Ninjas outside of the packaging. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. We're going to look at them individually. So let me kind of move some of these guys aside. Uh, we'll go and start with Donnie. He's right here in the center, so why not? Now, the theme that you're going to see across all of the turtles here is that they are a mixture of shared parts and brand new parts. Uh, I'm kind of happy about that, and I'm glad we got some new sculpt, because when I first saw them in the package, I thought that they were just basically turtles that we've already gotten with some new things thrown on them. Uh, it does appear that the head sculpts across all four of them are the same head sculpts from the original release turtles in the Nick line. The bodies themselves are also probably reused, but the arms and the legs are all new sculpts because we've got a lot of new gear worked on there. So the other theme you'll notice is the black. They're wearing a lot of black and they've got some makeup smeared on there. And overall, I really like that look. I think it looks very cool on these guys. It's very striking. So you can see Donatello, of course, with the black bandana, kind of turns purple in the back. It's a very cool effect. And then he's got like the black makeup across his face there. You'll notice he's got the shoulder pads here with uh, this, the belt piece going around the back. Uh, I love the little pieces worked onto the arms. That is so cool. <laughs> the little wheels there, basically. You got the big padded black gloves um, and you know all the armor little bits and everything on the legs as well and those are all sculpted because you can see uh, kind of like the new lines and everything on there like for here this is probably an unpainted part it looks like that should actually be some sort of texture maybe even purple like up here but it is green like the rest of his skin tone but all the rest of that does appear to be new sculpting in the legs and the arms there and then we've got the paint kind of smeared across the chest uh, now he does include his bow staff. It's just done in a solid black color, but it is exactly the same as what we've seen in the past. Bringing it on to Michelangelo, same kind of thing going on. Although something weird is happening with the head sculpt here. Uh, looks like maybe the top part was assembled to the bottom wrong, because I'm pretty sure that is the same original head sculpt, but look how crooked his mouth is. It looks really strange. Probably just a factory mistake with mine. Otherwise, he's just got some black uh, paint kind of smeared across the face, across the torso there. Again, new sculpts on the arms. I really love the arm bits. I think those look really cool with all the armored pieces and everything on there. And really, I think the black mixed with the green of their skin tones and then the bright colors of their signature bandanas looks really cool. I think it's an overall very, very neat look. He does have uh, this really cool uh, extra belt kind of strapped onto his back there. And you will notice the way it's just kind of like laying over the turtle shell, um, at least on these additional straps. The main belt still goes all the way around the figure, but this isn't like glued down or anything. You can actually kind of pull that up. It's just kind of resting there. It, it's fine. It works fine. It's not peeling up or anything like that. And then, of course, he comes with those same signature nunchucks. They are just done in a straight black plastic, though. 
Raphael is next up. Now, this is one place where reusing the original head sculpt doesn't really work out for him because in his Super Ninja outfit in the cartoon series, he's wearing like a full skull cap. Uh, his bandana covers the whole top of his head. And the way they accomplished that on here is they just painted the top of his head black, but you can see it doesn't really match up with the sculpt. It's just super obvious they just painted the top of his head black. Otherwise, I do like the other additions here. You know, the little shoulder pads are really nice, sticking out of the top of the torso there. You know, I love the little extra pieces he's got hanging off of the front. Look at that. He's got the claws on the hands there, which is really cool. You know, I like the black paint smeared across the torso. Uh, the legs are new as well. I will say that raf has got a little bit of a stubby look to his legs. I'm not sure if that's just my eyes, but he seems a little bit shorter than he usually does. And then that brings us to Leo. I do feel that Leo uh, has the best look out of all the rest of them. Maybe it's because he's got like the cross straps there and the really big shoulder pads, but it's a very, very cool look for him. I also really like the way the makeup kind of comes down his cheeks there, smeared across the chest. And then again, great new sculpting on the legs with all the crazy little armor bits that they've got going on there. So very, very cool. Now they each do come with some uh, accessories. I already showed you how Raph, Donnie, and Mike all have their signature weapons just done in black. Leo gets something extra he only comes with one katana blade again all black no paint on that but he also comes with this little quiver of arrows arrows of course are non-removable this does just plug into a hole in his back just like that and then he's got a bow as well which already has an arrow in it and the arrow is non-removable so that is part of the sculpt but it is an extra weapon for this particular leonardo so let's talk articulation on these guys because it is a bit of a factor with their displayability for the most part, it's exactly the same of what we've come to expect with these guys. That head is ball jointed, the arms are ball jointed, you'll notice the shoulder pads do not get in the way, so they kind of move with the arms, which is very nice, so great range of motion there. Soles at the elbow, uh, regular elbow bend, but the wrist articulation has been cut out of these turtles. Uh, we do still have the same hinge joints at the thighs, so legs can go outwards, forwards, backwards. We've got the soles at the knee and the standard joint at the knee. So almost all the articulation is exactly the same, but with the lack of wrist swivels, that's going to pose some problems when trying to display these guys with the weapons. For example, there's no way to get Leonardo to hold onto this bow and arrow like he's actually using it. It's just not going to happen. Another way that this really gets... Uh, Causes a problem is with Donatello. Because of the uh, inability to move the wrists, you can't get him to really hold on to his bow staff two-handed. The arms just don't bend the right way in order to get him to do it. And that is a bummer because I feel like that is an essential pose for Donatello. Aside from the articulation, uh, I do like the overall look of these guys. I feel like some shortcuts were definitely taken, like with the skull cap painted here on Wrath. But I like the overall look. I think the colors are really good. The armor looks pretty cool. More paint would always be a plus. But I do kind of like the nice dark tones to these guys. It's pretty neat. Let's go ahead and do this real quick. It's comparison time. I just want to stand these guys alongside the regular release Ninja Turtles from the very beginning of this line. So you can see what these guys look like side by side with them. That way you can see that they do have new parts and some shared parts. And also, when you look at Raphael next to the original one, you can see that it wasn't just my eyes. The legs on the new one is a bit are a bit shorter than they should be. He's a little shorter than the standard Raphael release, which is kind of weird. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at the brand new Super Ninjas. New variants of the Turtles straight out of the cartoon series. Uh, like I said, overall, I like the look of these guys. I think the black meshes very well. And it mixes really well with the bright colors of their bandanas to make these guys pop. They look very dynamic. And it's pretty cool getting these guys to battle against the Super Shredder. I wish the articulation was a little bit better. I'm always going to wish that the paint was better. Uh, and while we did get some new sculpting, I wish we got even more more new parts especially with Raphael. i just feel like that painted head is a bit of a letdown but otherwise not bad these aren't my favorite variants of the turtles but they're certainly not my least favorite either so the Super Ninjas are starting to hit Target stores right now. They are actually exclusive to Target through the end of the year. After that, they should show up at other retail stores. I got to give a very special thanks to Playmates Toys for sending these guys along so we can get a good look at them outside of the package. Happy hunting, my friends! And hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss out on one of my TMNT toy reviews. Until next time, my friends.